So good afternoon, how you doing? So today as well, I want to talk about currency. Now most of the time when you think about currency, what do you think about? You think about money. Now why do we call money currency? Why are those in charge, those who set the pathway, call money currency? I want you to think about this on a deeper level. You see, currency replicates a current. It moves, it's alive, it does things. It is something that gives life and it is also something that can take away life. And those who understand the, diff the deeper levels of currency are the ones who control it and have the power of it. So let's see if you can get some of that power for yourself. You see, currency, as far as a current, let's look at water and a current. If you have water and it's flowing in a current, if you dam that water up and stop the current, then the area that is behind the dam becomes fertile and it flourishes. While if you allow that area that is in front of the dam it will begin to perish. And only what you allow it to have will it flourish. Let me give you an idea of this. We have a, a value on diamonds, but diamonds are intrinsically worthless. What makes a diamond valuable? Scarcity. Who controls the scarcity of diamonds? Primarily the De Beers Company. But what the De Beers company does is that they stockpile all new diamonds and diamond mines and only allow a certain amount to flow out. And by maintaining that scarcity, it keeps the value of it up because in truth, diamonds are found in people's backyards in Africa. They're found all over the place. They're plentiful. But if they make it seems like it's scarce, they stop the current, it becomes valuable to you and everyone else. They control the currency the currency of the diamond. All and any other natural resources are done this way. If you can control the currency of it, if you can control the flow of it, then you control it. You can starve out to whom you want to starve out and you can feed those that you want to feed. You can drive up the price or you can drive down the price. Controlling of the currency. You see, that's how the water flows. Now, the other thing about it is the direction of the current. The direction. You see, there are countries that are plentiful in minerals and natural resources. They, they have so many natural resources, especially in some of the countries in Africa, but the direction of the currency, the direction of those minerals and those resources and those things that are natural to that country, that direction is pointed certain ways. You're giving images that says that these people are poor, that these people are uneducated, that these people need help. And as long as you keep getting, being fed, the world at large is fed that image, then that country remains poor when in fact, they're the most richest country in the area, in the world. Sierra Leone, truly a wealthy country, but yet the perception, the currency, the perception of the currency maintains an impoverished nation. That's the trick. You see, life, the earth, you have a currency, you have an energy flow. And that's all currency is, is the energy flow. Money has an energy flow. Jewels have an energy flow. Natural resources have an energy flow. Your work has a natural energy flow. The way you move about in society, the way you drive your cars, all these things have an energy flow. You yourself are an energy flow. And whoever can control and direct that energy flow for whatever the situation is, they control who grows and who does not. Who lives and who dies? Think about it like this. There is enough water and food to feed everyone on the planet. But those who control that currency control who gets fed and who dies. There is enough medicine to take care of everyone on the planet. But the ones in control, they are the ones who decide. So in whatever level right now that you're at because you need to understand that the better you control your own energy flow you're able to control how you move about through life and how you gain and are able to be able to manipulate additional currencies you see if you can control your own currency like your finances and then others come with you and you begin to control your group finances then that gives you the currency the power to be able to control an industry Maybe it starts out as a neighborhood, then it grows into a town, then it grows into a city, then it grows into a state, then it grows into a nation, and then it goes multinational. You see, that's how you know true power accumulates. It starts with yourself. So you control your own personal currency. Bring those along with you, and then grow from there to establish a power base. By having that power base, 
other currents have to respect your current. Because if they don't, then one is going to butt heads against the other. And oftentimes they come together. They come together. Right? This is like how the Ohio River meets with the Mississippi River and they flow down and they come together. And then they flood out into the Caribbean Sea and then creates the Caribbean Sea, which flows out into the Atlantic Ocean. And all that current just keeps circulating producing power, producing oxygen, producing life. So controlling your current, controlling the currency of your life is optimal, is important in order for you to decide to optimize your life. You get it? So it's all about currency and understanding who controls it right now. And if you want your piece of it, if you want to take away someone's control, then begin to control your own. And as you do that, life becomes grand. The one of the best places that you can have a great currency is between the relationship of a family. When a family works together, strive together, creates together, flow together, powerful it becomes. Very powerful it becomes. So control your currencies. Know that, you're, that you are non-negotiable, that your greatness is non-negotiable. And then you will see great things come into your life and those who come with you, those who are attracted to you. Like we always say, iron sharpens iron. Like attracts like. Y'all have a great day. My greatness is non-negotiable and so is yours.